New market skins are here finally for the seek and destroy update. Hello guys, once again it's Matt, thank you all the members and patrons, make sure to subscribe and let's take a look on some of them to check it out if they are cool. The first one is, yes, an SU-27SM Grey 305, uh, very very cool, it is a uh, camouflage from the SU-27SKM I think? SU-27SM in, in SU-27, I don't know. I don't know what that means, SKM, I don't remember what aircraft that is, but uh, yes, basically a new skin for the SU-27SM, which is pretty, pretty cool, isn't it? Love these gray and black and last gray camouflages, so uh, yeah, very, very cool, let's get to the next one. Of course, always remember, if you go to the market, you can actually click on the, on the trophy over here, you filter out War Thunder and then trophy over here you find the seek and destroy and you can check it out all of them um, and if you click on them they go directly to the buying page of them so yeah we have a leopard panzer battalion 1231 not gonna take a look on every single one of them most aircraft okay but yeah we have an f-15 c flogger aggressor uh, which is very very cool if you click on it and then view it in game it will go to the um, actual thing so uh, yeah uh, here it is, um, very very cool skin, it looks like a, a Russian sk color scheme or something, so very very cool. So it's the Flogger Aggressor, this is a historical camouflage for the F-15C, so very very cool. For sure I will get this one for myself, uh, we can show some others, let's see, M48, there are some tank ones, again, uh, I'm going to just pass over them a little bit. Just because uh, I don't want this video to be too long anyway. We have another one for the uh, F-16 AM. So let's take a look. Of course, it takes a little bit of time to actually download the files of the actual camouflage. So it's from the Netherlands uh, instead of Belgium, which is very, very cool. This is same historic. Oh, no, this is historical. That's actually pretty cool. So now we have um, the Belgian ones, but then uh, one from the Dutchess, like, no, a Dutch one, <laughs> uh, but yeah, very, very different, it's, uh, let's see, Royal Netherlands Air Force, Fol Folkel Air Base, Netherlands, it's just from a squadron, very cool one, actually, it looks like one from, like, it's, it's like breaking the sound barrier or something, right, let's see, other ones over here, we have one for the, what is this? Mm. I don't know, what is this, which of it is it, oh the normal one, okay, so another one for the new F-16A, uh, but then it's just the normal one, mm, that's very very cool, this is from the Netherlands as well, so yeah, this is actually, if you are a Max Verstappen fan, this is the skin for you to use, this is <laughs> perfect for that, so yeah, very very cool skin. Let's go to um, the trophy again. I have to keep going um, backwards and just, yeah. Let's see. We have a Bill Fighter one, a MiG-23. Mm. This is probably not historical, though. This is probably fictional, I think, because it just looks really, really different from uh, the other ones. 96 Blue. Memo oh, no, it's, it is historical. Memorial Aircraft in Lukovsky. Lu Lukovitsky. No. Lukov... Vitsi in the Moscow region. So it's basically just a, a modernized camouflage for commemorative reasons, you know, for the MiG-23. It has the Russian flag instead of the Soviet one. I think it's kind of cool, but I prefer the Soviet one, the normal one that I normally use for them. Um, I mean, this one, I already love it, but still. Cool. This is cool. And it's historical. I love st historical skins. I don't like the other ones. Uh, Sub J. Ooh, ooh, this is cool. This is actually pretty cool. This is the skin that I always wanted. This is the one. Yes, boys, finally for the J35XS. Yes, this is the skin that I always wanted for these aircraft. I love these unpainted camouflages for the Draken. They're oh my god, they're so beautiful. The numbers and oh my god, it's so cool. The squadron number or aircraft number. Probably something like that. Uh, but yeah, very, very cool one. Let's go back. 
Um, every time I have to open again, we have one for the SU-25. Again, I'm looking more for the jets over here, but um, yeah, you can take a look on your own. Uh, this is for the Syrian uh, campaign, isn't it? Oh my god, finally they added this skin. This is a cool skin, guys. This is a very, very modern skin for the SU-27 uh, 5SM. Um, it's for sure, um, uh, it was used in the Syrian um, campaign uh, with the SU-25. So that's pretty cool to have a, a real life kind of combat proven aircraft, you know. And of course, the, the normal one was alright, but I mean, it's just a normal skin for an SU-25, right? This one is cool. This one is really, really cool. Another one that I have to get it for myself. Uh, let's go back over here. Fuck a wolf. Uh, we have one for the... Uh, okay. Let's see this one for the Harrier. Which I think it's very similar to the uh, normal ones. But it is still can be very, very good. Come on. Load it up. Where is it? Yeah, it's another gray one. Um, yeah, this is very cool, actually, because it was one that everybody kind of was saying that it was missing, right? Uh, like this tone that it's uh, lighter than this one, but it's like darker than this one, or it's not mixed like this one. So very, very standard skin, but very good for the Bulldog Squadron uh, VMA-223. So very, very cool skin. The one, I might get it for myself as well. Um... We have another one, aggressor one for the F-15, let's take a look, but this one for the F-15JM. Uh, I I'm always scared about the Japanese skins, they're just weird sometimes, I'm sorry, but they are. This is a very cool skin, I there are videos of this skin actually flying around. Yeah, this is, it. like I said, it's always kind of different and sometimes weird with the Japanese skins, but this one is actually pretty interesting. Very, very cool. I wish we had like a, an all white one of the F-15J. It would be very, very beautiful. Uh, and I think the last one that I wanted to check it out. Did I just check? Oh, no, there are some others. Uh, first of all, Pakistan Navy. Mm, nice. But first of all, I want to see this one. This looks cool. This is for the um, F-5E FCU for... Um, uh, Thailand, right? Uh, so, yeah, remember, it's in the Japanese tech tree. So it's for the Thai F5. Uh, is this? Mm. Ubon Hachatani Hacha Squadron. Yeah, it's, it's pretty normal, but it, it has a very cool art like on the back over here with the snake and an eagle. I think it's an eagle, right? Shark nose and stuff. Very, very cool. And the last one that I wanted to show to you guys it's going to be the A4, I think, uh, because all the other ones, there's too many, I mean, I can lose, like, so many hours in here, but I just don't want it <laughs> to lose so many time, so much time. So, yeah, it's for the premium A4E, as you see, uh, it's the international aggressor one, it doesn't, it doesn't say anything else, it's just international aggressor, yeah, I'm guessing it's for, like, this is... Mm, is this like a for a, a company and not a an air force or something? Let me know in the comments if you know because um, these are very similar to like civilian, you know. I don't know how do you pronounce that in in, in English, but uh, it's basically an, a VIN number of an aircraft, something like that, right? So it, it it makes sense to be something like that because it might be like a civilian demonstration aircraft or something. Uh, or not civilian per se, but, you know, classified as, as a company aircraft or something like that. So, yeah, guys, very, very cool skins. Um, the one for the SU-27, for sure, my, my favorite together with the SU-25. But the F-15 one, the C-1, very, very cool as well. Uh, let me know in the comments if you like some of them or not. If you're not going to buy anything, <laughs> let me know. And I see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys. See you.